passengers on board, including some from right here in North Texas. Our Robbie Owens has been keeping in contact, but right now is live from the Dallas County Health Department, where a town hall briefing on the coronavirus just wrapped up. Robbie, what can you tell us? Well, Congressman Colin Allred organized this town hall here today, Brooke, brought in uh, some doctors from UT Southwestern, as well as the director of Dallas County Health and Human Services, Dr. Phil Wong, all to send that common message of remaining calm, not to panic, and also to ensure the community knows that all of the interested parties are working together every day to keep the community safe. Local health officials stressed once again that there are no confirmed cases of coronavirus in Dallas County, but the town hall here was designed to reassure and share information. Meanwhile, North Texans continue to be connected to the crisis as it unfolds all around the world. We have been in contact with North Texans on board the Grand Princess, now quarantined off the coast of San Francisco. They tell me that a couple of thousand passengers already disembarked along with the elderly man who later died. So they question the effectiveness of keeping them quarantined now. From the cruise industry to airlines and everything travel related now taking a beating. Just this week, the Walmart Corporation canceled a company-wide meeting that had been scheduled to take place in Dallas next week. That's thousands of hotel rooms that will now go unfilled. And experts say the ripples of tourism dollars in the area stretch wide. Just in the hotel industry alone, throughout North Texas, there's over 65,000 employees. And if you multiply that with all the restaurants, all the attractions, um, all of the vendors that supply the hotel uh, community and the hospitality community, it's huge. Uh, the arts are a draw. There are so many things that are impacted, and it, it, just, and it just is a huge, huge driver for the economy in this area. Uh, to be exact, tourism, visitor dollars, $5.3 billion to the local economy. Uh, that executive telling me that uh, hotels are using best practices. They're retraining staff, doing extra cleaning in those high traffic areas, uh, encouraging everyone to, you know, those common sense hygiene practices. So the message is to pre prepare, be safe. But every day we are seeing new consequences of this virus, both economic and otherwise. And we'll continue this conversation ahead at 6. Reporting live at the Dallas County Health Department, I'm Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. That doesn't seem like it's going anywhere anytime soon, Robbie. Thank you very much.